Well, I have a video that I have been promising you about, um, about how to start and make your own capsule wardrobe um, using two patterns. So if that is something that you um, are interested in, please stay tuned. <music> joining me today my name is holly this is hollywood wear um for those of you who are new thank you for joining me for those of you who are returning thank you for coming on back you know here um i show all kinds of things all of which is always going to be fashion related and probably on a budget i do bag reviews and shoe reviews and i'm a sewist i'm a fashion enthusiast um so i'll make some things i'll have pattern hauls i'll have fabric hauls and i'll put outfits together and then but that way all of which will inspire you to either sew put together new outfits try new things and you too can be a fashion enthusiast as well so if that's something that will interest you please subscribe below um put on that notification bell because i do weekly videos and that way you'll always be informed please give this a thumbs up if you like it that way i know you love it and then i continue to make more content so all of those preliminaries are done let's get into the content of this video shall we all righty so we are going to be talking about capsule wardrobe and this is very beginner friendly i um am loving the capsule wardrobe idea the idea of a capsule wardrobe basically what a, is a capsule wardrobe where did that come from in the 70s susie foe she actually opened up a, a boutique called wardrobe in London and her the whole idea of her was that she sold minimalist um, pieces that basically um, was it, to add to your collection so that it can be versatile so that you can kind of interchange okay so that was back in London cut to the in um, 85 Donna Karen which a lot of people are familiar with that name made um, brought to the US she was she had developed a, a same kind of theory um a minimalist kind of um basis seven basic pieces that with models and bodysuits they can be interchanged uh together so that you can have a whole wardrobe but only have a minimum minimal amount of pieces to interchange back and forth so usually a capsule wardrobe is something that's classic doesn't go out of style it's not trendy you know um but it's always going to be in style always going to be in fashion you're always going to be classy you walk out the house you're classy it doesn't matter what the new trends are that are going in and out as we see so often so i love a capsule wardrobe now do i have just a few pieces no because i love clothes okay so i like trendy pieces there's nothing wrong with trendy pieces throw in a couple of trendy pieces here and there but your basic basis for your wardrobe should uh consist of capsuling that wardrobe the minimalist the things that are going to stand the test of time that if you got up and you like i don't know what i'm going to wear you can always go back to your capsule wardrobe it's the best thing to travel with because you can like these pieces, you know, you can take them. You only have a few pieces. You don't have all this luggage, especially luggage costs too much money to be packing a whole bunch of things. Basic pieces that you can interchange and have a nice wardrobe. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. We are going to be talking about things that can be interchanged pieces that are usually neutral colors. Because if you have too many extra colors, that they, they may not go with each other. Neutral colors that you can build upon. Now, this is not going to be your whole capsule wardrobe. But today, we're going to be talking about basics that you can build upon and build upon your capsule wardrobe. Now, I think that making your outfits um, so that you're, you're to save the environment, make your, your outfits. Make those pieces. That's what we're here for as a sewist. Um, and for those, especially beginners, even a beginner can uh, make these pieces. Two patterns that I have found that are great for beginners. They're easy. They are um, good for anyone to be able to start a capsule wardrobe that they want to make on their own. So what are the two patterns? Well, of course, it is my all-time favorite Simplicity Pattern S8982. This pattern has 
I have made every single one of these pieces and these pieces can be interchanged with each other as I'm going to be showing you. They are going to be, uh, you'll be able to interchange. Now the dress, I actually have on the dress. So as you see, I um, made this dress. It was so, so simple. Um, it's a very basic dress that you can dress up or down. I am um, showing it as being dressed up. Um, and in the back of it, so the ba the dress itself is a, ba is a basic uh, dress. Not too many pieces, um, just the, the sleeves, the front, the back. Simple, okay? I did a little bit of rouging on the back because, you know, I'm a little bit extra. But you don't have to do that. That is not necessary. You can keep the dress the way it is. Dress it up with some heels, with a nice purse, you can go out. If it's just a weekend, you want to go shopping, get some flats, a little jacket, and you go. You can put these on with some sneakers. Good. All right. So now, next, we're going to talk about the shirts. So there is a long skirt and there is a short skirt. The long skirt can be paired with either of these tops. So I actually made both of these tops. I made the um, the one with the balloon sleeves, okay? I wore it with the short skirt. You can take it and go ahead and wear it with the longer skirt. The same goes for the other shirt, basic shirt. You can make that and wear that with the shorter skirt and you can wear that with the longer skirt, okay? So now, how many outfits is that? Is that? That's one outfit, that's the dress, okay? And we've worn that dress a couple of different ways in a couple of different ways we've dressed it up we've dressed it down we've worn that, that's one so now we have the the um the basic top we put with the longer skirt that's two we put it with the shorter skirt that's three we take the balloon top and we put it with the longer skirt that's four and then now we put it with the shorter skirt and that is five five outfits from one pattern wonderful now let's bring in another pattern simplicity 8177. Now keep in mind, you don't have to use these exact patterns. I use these because it is great for my body type and what I like. You have to come to a conclusion what works for you. Do you like fitted clothing? Do you like flare clothing? Whatever you find, make sure that they go together and it's interchangeable and you'll be able to match the pieces. Okay, so I do. Um, suggest both of these if you have a body type like me curvy you like things that are stretchy you don't have to use as it shows here you can use it in different fabrics as you as as you've seen from the way that I've paired it I did do a sweater skirt kind of for the um, longer one and a faux squirt suede skirt for the shorter one I did cashmere knit for both of these in the summertime maybe you want to make these two shirts in like a cotton a lighter cotton kind of a jersey fabric so that it's a little bit lighter and the same goes for the dress so you can interchange it. you want to make a denim skirt however you want to uh, whatever kind of fabric you want to use that um, can be interchanged either way all right now let's go back to simplicity 8177 all right so on this pattern it shows a wide leg pant and a vest a jacket and a long sleeve shirt. You can actually do the t-shirt in a long sleeve or a short sleeve. Now, I made the wide leg pant and I made the jacket. I did not make the vest yet and I do still plan on making the vest, but I just haven't made it yet. So then that would actually give something extra. I attempted to make the, the top. I don't know what happened. That was a fail. I'm gonna do a whole video on fails because I did not... Th this one came out horrible. The the shoulder, I don't know what was going on. Um, but it was all wrong. So many ways of wrong. So I'm going to have to redo that. But keep in mind again, that's just a basic t-shirt. You can get a basic body shirt, body suit. Um, I always suggest in the summertime, like I'll get like just a whole bunch of different neutral camis and wear under and, and interchange them. You can get a whole bunch of t-shirts. You can make your own t-shirts and then that way you can interchange them so again as you see here i use the tops from the other pattern um that those tops i actually uh wore with the wide leg pan okay so then now we're, we were at five pa um uh, outfits right so now with the wide leg pan into that um wardrobe now you can wear it that's a six outfit 
with that basic long sleeve shirt. Now with the uh, bubble um, sleeve shirt, this one with the pants, that's a seventh outfit. Now, say for instance, we're going out somewhere and we need to, you know, put on, you want to put on a little something extra. Now we take the jacket and I put it on here with the dress. There's another outfit. You can take the dress and put it as, as shown here with one of the shirts and the pants. You could take that jacket and now interchange it and put it on with one of the skirt and top outfits. So many outfits that you can interchange. You, I, you can probably get about 10 outfits. Now, once you make the other shirt, I was, I'm going to make another pair of pants, the vest, and I'm going to try my hand again at this shirt. I don't know what happened with the shirt. I, I want to honestly tell you, I don't know what happened. I think that V-neck, I was trying to rush. Never rush. Never rush. It was late at night. I was like, oh, I can do this real quick. Never rush. Because whenever, whenever I rush, it's always bad. It's so, so bad. But anyway, I'm going to do that. And then all together I counted that you should have an interchangeable about 10 or 11 different outfits that you can interchange between all those pieces you now have 10 or 11 outfits that you have made from two to two patterns that's it two patterns fabric interchange them um great like I said great for beginners because both of these patterns are going to be easy makes you find a fabric that will work for you for your body type and put together the outfits for you. Keep in mind, once you throw in your shoes and your accessories and your purses and you interchange everything, people won't even know. It's great for the office. Um, it's great, like I said, for traveling because I was able to go out. Some of these out, out, outfits may be too dressy for people. Dress them up, dress them down. The skirts as well, you don't have to wear them with heels. You don't. You can wear them with some slides, some, some um sandals you can wear them with some sneakers i like the wide leg pant with a sneaker so you so on the weekend you're wearing the wide leg pant a sneaker and one of these tops or you're wearing the wide leg pant a sneaker and even the t-shirt and the vest okay this is a great way to start your capsule wardrobe and then build from there if you see another pattern that you like that has more interchanging if you don't wear that many skirts or dresses then you want to buy more pants um, and interchange between those but you always want to have a dress you always want to have a skirt in your wardrobe because you never know when your wardrobe is going to call for that if you don't like wear, having a lot of pants you don't wear a lot of jeans things like that then always at least have a, a one or two pairs of pants so that you can interchange whatever your likes are you have to find what works for your body and what works for you and then you can interchange this works for me i love it um like i said i got on the dress um, I'm dressing it up today, but again, like I said, I was able to dress it down as well. So if I'm going out shopping, going to the grocery store, I just throw that on and I'm good. But capsule wardrobe is where it's at. Start your wardrobe, start your beginning sewing journey. Um, try out these two patterns if those are going to work for your body. And let me know in the comments below how you like them, what you thought about them, how it works, what kind of ideas you are going to do with your capsule wardrobe. But that is my take on my capsule wardrobe and how I've started that. I've started with seven basic pieces and I have made out of those seven basic pieces about seven or eight, um, up to 10 different kinds of wardrobe um, interchanging um, different outfits. Um, so let me know what you think about that. And I will uh, be back next time with another video. You guys have a great day. Mwah.